If you guys want to know how to do your own Gelux nails at home with a super easy method and it's super affordable, you've come to the right place. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isabel and if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that and also here's my TikTok. So yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my favorite products with you as well as showing you how I do my own nails at home. So let's just get right into it. One of my favorite products for the actual Gelux nails that I like using is from Una Gela, it's called. So yeah, you can find these on Amazon. They're pretty cheap and they come in a bunch of different shapes. So this is what my nails are looking like right now before I do anything. And what I like to do is I like trimming them down a little bit. Once I've trimmed and filed my natural nails, I like planning out and laying out which nails I'm gonna be using for these. All right, so again, here are my nails at the very beginning and now I'm just gonna trim and file them. I usually like taking off the white part and just getting them as short as possible without taking too much off. The next thing I like to do is I like to kind of pre-plan what nails I'm going to be using. So I just figure out which shapes go with which nails and then I lay them out so they're ready to be used. And when I'm planning them to fit them, I kind of just make sure that they're not going over the edge and like digging into my skin. But I also don't want them to be too short so that they don't reach the skin. So I kind of just file them if they're a little bit too big. I'd rather them start too big and I just file them. So now that that is all prepped, I'm going to get my nail glue. It's like a gel glue and then I'm going to be curing them using this mini light. This is super handy because I can fit one finger in and with my bigger one, it's kind of hard to do that. So yeah, I'm going to be using this and then once I've applied all of them, I'll cure them again under the big lamp. So I found that that's just kind of what works for me. So this is the nail glue I use. It's by Beatles. And this stuff works really well. My nails stay on for like two weeks without falling off when I use this. And stay tuned because I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks for applying them so that they stay on really long. Alright, so when applying, I like brushing it over where the nail is going to go. And then with any extra things that's on the brush, I just scrape it right here. So that there's a little bit extra right near the cuticle. Then I press it down at a slant toward the cuticle and press down really like firmly. <laughs> So yeah, this is what it should look like when you're done. As you can see, the extra glue kind of just slid up there and that kind of makes it more secure. Try to avoid getting too many air bubbles like I did. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> if any glue kind of seeps out the side, what you can do is use a nail file and just kind of file it down. I also like filing down the tips of the nails because they come with a little ridge at the top. So it's really quick, you just kind of take the file over the top and then you're good to go. Also if on the underside of your nail you see a lot of glue, you can take a nail drill and kind of get rid of that glue. I don't have one which is why I don't do it, but I would recommend it if you want a really seamless look. Now it's time for the fun part, the color. Today I decided to go with a really vibrant pink. I was debating between a pink and then like more of a safe color, but since it's summer, I decided why not? Let's just go with the vibrant, bright color. So now I'm gonna do my second coat of polish and I do this just because as you can see they're a little bit like transparent at the tips right now. So adding that second coat of polish will just really help make it more solid. All right, so there's the second coat. As you can see, the before and after is pretty drastic. the top coat is honestly so satisfying for me. I feel like it makes it look very glassy and shiny. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take an alcohol wipe and I'm going to wipe down each of my nails. What this does is it gets rid of that sticky layer on top of the gel and this makes sure that the shine will stay there and that little fuzzies don't stick to the nails. Also, I know I look a little bit different today and that's because it is the next day. Yesterday I ran out of time, so after the first coat of color I had to pause. So I'm back today. All right, so here is my prep pad. And what I'm going to do is literally just rub them across it. 
and wipe it around. All right, so now I'm just gonna wash my hands and I will be right back. All right guys, I just finished. I love how they turned out. They're super shiny still and they're very vibrant. If you have any remaining questions, make sure to comment down below and I will do my best to answer them. I'm not like an expert nail technician, but I can still try to answer questions. Also, if you haven't already, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if it helped you and also subscribe to my channel. I also have more nail videos on my channel, so if you want to go ahead and check that out, I recommend it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I love how you look at me, feeling low, nothing to lose.